What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, and we are here for a a video um, that I kind of am basically redoing. Um, I originally uploaded this video last night with eight other short little videos that I did involving a mixture of different topics. This was one that I felt like when I, I did it last night, I felt like I didn't quite have the full story. And I felt like I just was too biased towards one direction of this. Usually in situations like this, I try to like, you know, sit back and remain neutral. Because like a scenario like this is not one where I could say, you know, oh, do you think he's innocent or do you think he's guilty? I feel like, you know, I kind of leaned a little more towards that. When I do these videos, when I talk about, like, you know, um, accusations and whatnot, I more so just review it as how the situation's been handled. And um, also, you know, I do stick with the phrase of innocent until proven guilty. I'm not saying this person is innocent, but I'm not saying he's guilty either. I just think we don't have the whole story yet to completely, you know, be convinced that Nash Carter was either innocent or guilty with these allegations. However, though, I am also hearing that the allegations recently, um, you know, uh, he was uh, accused of was the reason why he was released from WWE just this past Wednesday. So let's get into this. How did we get here? Well, again, Nash Carter, who is one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, MSK, now two-time NXT Champions. They won the, um, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic last year, and they won the NXT Tag Titles, went on like a 200-day title reign until they dropped them to Imperium. And then just this past weekend... At takeover at NXT Stand and Deliver, which I didn't watch because I don't watch NXT anymore. Um, MSK won the titles back, which I was a little surprised that they did because with them being more of like a high flying style team, with Vince McMahon, of course, you know, having more control on NXT now, I didn't see them fitting his image. So the fact he gave them the titles back, I was surprised. In the midst of all this, though, two things happen. First, he had photos from his, I guess, now ex-wife. Because I was confused by this. I thought they were still married. But Kimber Lee, who, if you don't know who she is, she is a wrestler for Impact Wrestling. She posted some photos on Twitter accusing him of abusing her. And saying it's been going on for a while. And she's tired of living in fear. It's now it's time for people to know the truth. Even though I've also read another report. That Kimber Lee is in fact his ex-wife. And apparently Nash Carter has been going out with. Uh, current NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Of Toxic Attraction. Gigi Dolan. So. I'm not sure what all was going on there. Because it seems strange that you know. Like I said, when I did this video the first time, I have also said, yeah, WWE doesn't want, want, doesn't have to deal with this. Sorry, Nash Carter. You know, you got the short end of the stick there. Well, now I look at it as, okay, I can't say that. Because I don't know for sure if Nash Carter is guilty or not. But I also don't know if he's innocent. But apparently... The release was because of the allegations. The release was because there was another photo of him mocking Hitler that was posted. That apparently, though, happened eight years ago. Eight years ago. Guys, I sometimes think that, okay, if it was just recent, yes. You know, I, I get it. But if it happened a long time ago... This is where I will say that I do think that it's a little bit ridiculous that a photo from eight years ago being resurfaced um, is going to cost somebody his career. So that I like a little like eh about. 
The thing about him and the allegations, though, and the thing with him and Kimberly, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think of it, honestly. I mean, it could, if it is true, then yes, Nash Carter does not deserve to have his job um, and to at least, you know, you know, be punished um, properly for um, abusing his wife, if that is the case. But if he's innocent, then man, it just sucks. We've seen a lot of like you know accusations happen anymore these days. People get accused of things, and of course, it ends up being fake, or you know, it ends up being true. Of course, and you can't completely you know like you know feel bad for them anymore. Uh, but WWE has had several of these instances recently. Um, a couple years ago, Rich Swan, of course, he was accused of abusing his girlfriend or, or wife, whichever one it was. Um, it ended up, you know, making up over it, but WWE and them still decided to part ways. And, and, you know, they thought it was time for a fresh start for Rich Swan. Then we have someone like Enzo Amore. Enzo Amore, who was accused, but proven innocent, of, um, of assault. Um, even though, I'll be honest, I'm still, even though he was innocent, I'm still not the biggest fan of Enzo Amore. I still think the guy is, like, super full of himself. And, um, I don't know, it's just dumb things to get the trends, as he always says. Of course, a case like Velveteen Dream. I still feel like, to this day, WWE did not handle the Velveteen Dream properly. Yes, he was never proven innocent, he was never proven guilty, but to me, it just felt like they swept it under the rug. Nash Carter, though, instantly got the boot. I mean, there's some also guys, like, you know, obviously something did happen, like, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, when the whole Speak Out movement came out, was it, like, last year or the year before, um, and the only person that they had, well, they, they released a few people, they released a couple people from NXT UK, um, uh, Ligero, um, and Travis Banks, and probably one or two others, and then, of course, they did release a Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Who eventually, like a, like a few months later, did come out on Twitter and say, you know, what he was accused of is true. And he takes responsibilities for what he has done. Um, and all that jazz. You see, I do not think it was right for whatever Jack Gallagher did. But I do at least respect that he at least, you know, owned up to his moments. Or let's look at guys also like the Usos. Like, I love the Usos, but they've gotten several DUIs. Yet they're still tag team champions. They've been given several chances. Um, uh, who else is there? Or like Jeff Hardy. With Jeff Hardy, it's not so much, you know, that he's bad. It's just he has addictions. And he has his moments. So, like, that one I can, you know, not say slide or forgive, but there's always a point where it's like, you know, how many more times can you, you hear the word sorry and uh, you let him down? So I'm not sure what to think if WWE did the right move with, with already firing Nash Carter or not. Because again, it's not like it was over the picture. Which, okay, I get it. I get how it can offend somebody. But the thing is, it happened eight years ago. Nash Carter, Zachary Green, could be a totally different person now to learn from that. So if he, only thing that really should have really cost him is if he really was, you know, abusing his wife. I'd say at least for now... Suspend him indefinitely until it gets suspend until it gets uh, resolved. I don't know about completely releasing him was the right thing to do because of course now of course that leaves behind his tag partner from MSK Wesley, which I again yeah, I don't watch NXT anymore. I definitely loved NS, NS, MSK whenever I did watch them. You know, it, it just sucks that Wesley's getting a short end of the stick. Like, I can see Vince instantly, you know, having him job out and then he'll get released to the budget cuts probably. But, um, yeah, I, I, I just think that more needs to come out for me to fully believe that if Nash Carter was proven innocent or guilty uh, with this thing with uh, Kimberly. Because like I said, it would th throw me off too, again, the fact that, again, that's his ex-wife and he's with Gigi Dolan. So how do I not know? I don't know the whole story yet. What if this is Kimberly being, you know, jealous or if Nash Carter really did, you know, hurt her or whatnot? I don't know. We will have to wait and see, though, as more information comes out over time.
But yes, thank you guys again for joining me again. This is my redo video of my thoughts on the WWE releasing Nash Carter. Not sure unless they had more hard-nosed evidence that just not telling us that if releasing it was the best idea. Like I said, they probably could have released like, you know, suspended him or punished him another way if it was, you know, and, and you know, gone from there. But, um, yeah, I, 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 I think that, you know, they may have jumped the gun a little bit, but if he's proven guilty, then proven guilty. Either way, though, they probably would have suspended him until he got this figured out on his end, basically, in my opinion. But if, if he's proven innocent, it's another person who, who has an allegation that just ruins our career, sadly. And that's my thoughts, guys. What are your thoughts on Nash Carter's release from WWE this past week? Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And be sure as always to slap a like on the video and subscribe or contact my channel. And follow me on Twitter as well, at DemandAirborne93. Until then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. Peace out, everybody.